Let's revisit one of the best summer songs we've had in a while. Three Nights by Dominic Fike hit the charts and it didn't go down for months. It was constantly in my head. It still is. Shout out to Joshua Rodriguez for suggesting this track. And if there's any track you'd like to see me recreate, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to do these three things. These three things. These three things. That's hard to say. And I stream over on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you'd like to see more detail about these breakdowns, that's the place to go. Links down below. Let's get under the covers with three nights at the motel under streetlights in the city of Palms. Ah, it's so catchy. Golden oldie. Although it's only like a year ago, but it feels like 10 years ago. That's been 2020. Three nights, lovely. What color? We're going with that blue. So people on Twitch get to make executive decisions. Let's try and figure out our keys and chords. We're gonna throw on some reverb and pitch correction. Woo! Those toys are just too fun. <laughs> okay, key is G minor. Let's go with G minor. Chords. I'm so tempted to throw a seven in everywhere. It just sounds so good. All right, go on. It's a party. Let's just throw sevens in everywhere. So E flat seven, G minor seven, B flat seven, C minor seven. Boom. BPM. I'm gonna play the track. I'm gonna use my metronome. Click along to it, and let's find it. B or B. Twelve seconds later. I've never been so sure of a one five two. Instruments. We've got drums. We've got a high hats. I'm gonna put a H H. We've got snares. We've got a kick. That's pretty much all I hear. Now, really important important thing about this track is our acoustic guitar. GTR stands for guitar. We've got a really rhythmic, now it is playing the chords, but like it's more rhythmic, more so than anything else. It's really gonna ch -ch 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 -ch. That's the main thing about the track. And then you have the bass going boom, 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 boom. Syncopation going on. We've got a bass that's really heavy. It sounds like a real blocky bass. It's like boom. Boom. And it's quite short. It doesn't have much release on it. It's cool and interesting. <laughs> We've got a lead vocal. There sounds like there's one ad lib. One ad lib vocal. <laughs> I'll go for BV, back in vocals. Ad lib, BV. And I think that's pretty much it. But it's the rhythmic thing between the guitar and the bass. And I think the kick hits with the bass as well. That makes it sound really cool. Lovely. So where do we start with today? I kind of feel like I want to start with something exciting. So let's make an acoustic guitar track. GT or. Sweet. I'll tell you what I'll do. I might record two guitars. I'm going to have the first one as a rhythm guitar. He's literally just playing the rhythm. Then we'll come and record the actual notes guitar. So I think that might work. Woo! Yeah, noise reduction on that. So go to dynamics, noise gate. I'll tell you what I'll do, right? I'm gonna have my two favorite ones and we're gonna have those two, one out left and one out right. Beautiful. So let's play this bass in, here we go. Cool. But then I am going to go back and fix their velocity. Lovely. And let me just have the very first guy in time. Might try and find another bass potentially. Let's see if there's nicer basses. What's the muted one like? Copy this across and then just mute this guy. And maybe make the velocity louder in this one. <laughs> it's kind of, it kind of works. Let's just keep going for the minute and see how it sounds. So I'm going to make one more acoustic guitar and maybe one actually playing the chords. Three. At the motel on the street lights at the city of Paul. So this one could actually probably be with our fingers. Let's just see how this sounds. It's not the worst thing in the world. So I'm tempted to keep it for the minute, all right? So let's go a little micro shift. The acoustic guitar spread wide. Have a listen to this now. Cool, a bit of, bit of realness in there, that's all right. Get rid of this guy, I'm a fade man. Yes. Woohoo. All right, we're moving in some direction. Hopefully it is the right direction. What do we have next? Drums are next. Let's run on to drums. Drums. Cool. All right, I'm going to put in the kick first. Anytime the bass hits, the kick hits, and that's how I'm feeling. So let's open up our favorite. For everything nice, you got to get splice. Ooh, I think I've used this guy before. I just really like him. Oh, I've such a fatten around this. Cool. Get with our snares next. Snares, claps, everything gets you grooving. Is there on every two and four? Who would have guessed? I'm gonna rob that thud from yesterday, the Billy Eilish cover, which you can check out above me. <laughs> Shout out to Billy Eilish. She doesn't miss. She really doesn't. Her and Phineas are just too good at this music game. So we're on every two and four. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, now let's find some really authentic sounding claps. This one is a bit loud, so I might throw him fourth hit. I, I feel like there's something different on the fourth one at each time, so I'm just gonna use this guy. He's got a bit more of a tail than the rest of them, you know? That's kind of fun. 
Okay, we're getting there. We don't have the main sound yet. We need something a little bit more clap. Let's go with this guy. The one and three sound very similar. And then the two and four are slightly different again. So one and three hits a little bit harder. So I need one guy just to hit on the two and, on the one and the three. This guy seems very assured of himself. He's like, I know, I know what I'm doing. Cool, really, really nice. So we're gonna get some hi-hats and then we'll have a look at the layers. What are the hi-hats doing? Cool, real nice, real groove going on. Let's copy this guy across. Like a ba ba ba. Yeah, much better. Less swing in it. Ba bum boo. Yeah, love it. Real, real good. Sweet, there's our ha hats. Let's just color things. I like to have our basses brown and then my acoustic guitars. I think I usually have them green. Drums I like keeping yellow. <laughs> I have a thing for yellow. Pretty project. Okay, so we need to structure it. Structure is next. Our layout. Basically, the one thing I want to hear is the drums drop out really briefly and the hi-hats come back in early and then the snares come back in. So once we get that, we're flying. Call me what you want if you want if you want. You can call me Nancy, you call me you, call me you. Cool, and then the drums kick back in again there. So we can mute these ones and then mute here. And I'll just fade them in really quickly just to make sure we've no clicks. So it goes. Yeah, sweet. Nice. Let's have a listen. I'm going to just throw in my impacts and risers. I just copied them across from the Billie Eilish track. I'll let me go through them. Okay, so we have a swell crash kind of thing. It's basically a crash and it hits on the, the one of every four chords, basically. Let's just have a quick listen to see how that sounds. Okay, I'm gonna leave those impacts and rises there for a minute and then I'm gonna work on vocals. I think it's time to do some vocals. So I'll try up the octave first. Call me what you want when you want if you want. Okay, this is gonna sound real stupid for a while and then I promise it'll get a little bit better. Probably still stupid, but it'll get better. Three nights at the motel on the street lights in the city of palms. Call me what you want when you want if you want. And you can call me names if you call me yo, call me yo. I rushed it there at the end, didn't I? Oh well. I'll keep that as a high. Let me sing it down an octave. We'll fix things up afterwards so let me sing that three nights at the motel on the street lights in the city of palms call me what you want when you want if you want and you can call me names if you call me up call me up once again so pitchy hmm. it's not the very it's not a very comfortable register for me that's my excuse at least don't tell anyone don't tell anyone uh, so i'm gonna go Flex pitch again, some tuning. Let me now try not to force that vocal. Three nights at the motel under street lights in the city of Palm. Call me what you want when you want if you want. And you can call me names if you call me up. Cool, it's got way more relaxed feel as opposed to trying to force it. I think that's what was causing the issue the last time. It's a really big range because the top one's just slightly too high for me and then the low one's just slightly too low going into that low G. I'm like, uh. Let's actually pitch pitch crack this one fully and see how it sounds. Let's copy this low vocal plugin and chain and let's see what it sounds like. Maybe I'll just give it a bit of a belt. Three nights at the motel on the street lights in the city of Palm. Call me what you want when you want if you want. And you can call me Nancy, you call me up. Cool, that's okay. It's not awful. Let's try that guy in. Let me just tune that. Call me up. I feel like we should do double that guy as well. Call me up. Call me up. Well, I was trying to get more emotion into it and then I sang it out of tune. Oh, but that's a cool. Call me up. Cool. There's extra bass notes. I've totally forgotten about that. I think that's it. Cool, I'm actually doing dum ba bum ba dum boo on the other track here. Bum ba bum ba bum boo. Cool, I think that will work. All right, let's have a listen to the full thing. This track just shows how important percussion is and how, once again, just like uh, Phineas's Shelter, which I'll link up there, <laughs> that we covered before, how useful rhythmic acoustic guitar can be. It just, ah, oh, it's just fantastic. Really, 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 really useful. We're trying out. Okay, cool. Let's have a listen to the full thing. It'd be rude not to. Here we go. All right, here we go. Three Nights by Dominic Fike.
Okay, that was uh, difficult. 